everyone, it's Danny, and today's video is going to be round two of my drugstore recommendations and this is going to be based on drugstore skincare slash affordable skincare. So hopefully you can get some good new products to add into your skincare routine and although I don't have all that many products to share with you because a lot of my skincare routine is made up of higher end products because I just find that I really know they're helping my skin and improving my skin whereas with drugstore skincare I can't be too sure but I do still have quite a few recommendations for you and if you have any recommendations for me of drugstore skincare that you like then do leave them in the comments section down below and I will try them out and report back. So the first thing is really super affordable and it's from Superdrug and it is their Vitamin E Hot Cloth Cleanser and this is a really great alternative to the likes of the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish which I have never tried but it's a hot cloth cleanser as well so I'm guessing they're quite similar and I really do love this one because it just feels really rich and creamy and luxurious when you massage it into the skin it doesn't feel like it's only about four pounds at all so it's a really nice product to pick up because it does really help your skin I feel like when I wash it off all of my makeup has been dissolved and my skin is left feeling really clean but still really nourished and soft so I do really like that and it comes with a muslin cloth as well which I don't have to show you because it's in the wash but I definitely recommend picking this up if you're looking for a new nighttime cleanser the next four products I have to show you are all from the Super Facialist by Una Brennan line and I really do love her line of skincare it's really great quality and it really does help the skin and I just feel like it's a really great line to try out from the drugstore if you're looking for somewhere to start with skincare. So the first product as you can see I have well and truly squeezed every last drop out of it. I did really love it and I wanted to get as much out of it as I could and it is the Una Brennan Rose Hydrate Calming Creamy Cleanser and I really like to use that cleanser in the morning as I do have quite dehydrated skin so I don't like to use foaming cleansers but that one was really nice to use because it's a cream cleanser but it's still quite light and it really does cleanse your skin and feel quite refreshing but I don't have that stripped feeling afterwards like I would with a foaming cleanser so I really recommend this if you're looking for a nice morning cleanser that's still quite hydrating but still refreshing at the same time and you could easily use this as your evening cleanser as well if you wanted to which I did do sometimes if my skin was feeling a little bit more oily or if it was quite a hot day or something like that. And then the next product is also a cleanser, but this one's a little bit different in that it's a cleansing oil. And this is from her Vitamin C Brightening range, and it is the Skin Renew Cleansing Oil. And I absolutely love this. At first when I used this, I used it on a cotton pad, and I was like, why is this not working? My skin just feels really oily. But then I realised that you're actually meant to massage it into dry skin and rinse it off, which does work a lot better. So I'm glad I finally read the instructions and gave this a proper go. And I've been using this for the past couple of weeks, and I do really, really love it. I just massage it into dry skin with all my makeup on and after I've rinsed it off all of my makeup has been removed and my skin feels really soft and I have noticed that it's really improved the brightness of my skin and it's left my skin feeling a lot softer in the long run so I really do recommend this if you have dull skin or if you just want an alternative to a cleansing water like Bioderma or something like that. And I think this is about £13, so it's not the cheapest cleanser you could get, but I have been using this sort of every single night for about two weeks, and I've literally used the tiniest amount, so it will last a really long time. And then the final two Super Facialist products I love are both masks, and this one is a hydrating mask, and this one is a deep cleansing mask, so like a clay mask. And I'll start with this one first, and this is the Tea Flower Deep Clean pore purifying clay mask and this is just a really nice affordable mask to use if you want something that's really going to detoxify the skin and rid of blackheads and help to diminish spots and things like that. I have used this quite a few times and I do think I actually prefer it to my what's it called Ren detox mask whatever that one's called. I find that this one's much more effective but it still doesn't dry out my skin so I do really like it and when I use this I feel like my skin is really clean and it's really been detoxified and I feel like it really does help to diminish spots and blackheads and things like that so I definitely recommend this mask if you're looking for an affordable mask to help with any of your skin concerns. And then this next mask is the Rose Hydrate Intense Moisture Mask and I like to use this after I've used an exfoliating mask or a deep cleansing mask because my skin can feel quite stripped and just in need of a big dose of moisture so this is a really lovely one to use because you only leave this on for I think five minutes and it just really hydrates the skin and you're left with really hydrated and bright skin afterwards so I really do like it for that reason and I like to use this sometimes in place of my Origins Overnight Mask because obviously that one has to be used overnight but if I do a mask in the morning then I can't really use an overnight mask afterwards so this one is just nice to slap on if I need some moisture quite quickly and it does a really good job and it dries down to sort of a 
clay finish so it kind of detoxifies the skin at the same time which is quite good if you just want a quick skin pick me up so the next product is one which I really love and I've actually got my mum hooked onto it and it is the L'Oreal Paris Absolute Makeup Remover for Eyes and Lips and this is a really great dupe for the Clarins Eye Makeup Remover the instant version and it's the same sort of biphase solution so it really works to remove all of your waterproof mascara and any heavy eye makeup and also it's great for bold lips to remove them really quickly as well so this is just a really great alternative if you don't want to spend the £18 or whatever it is on the Clarins version because this is only about £4 and it's on offer all the time so I definitely recommend picking this up if you wear heavy eye makeup or waterproof mascara or bold lips quite a lot. The next product is a product which I completely forgot about. I used it quite a lot last year but then I think I just found something else and it got pushed to the back of the stash but it is the Garnier Moisture Match for normal to dry skin and this is just a really great hydrating moisturiser. It does take a couple of seconds to sink in but once it has sunk in it leaves you with a really nice natural finish on the skin. It doesn't look greasy and it doesn't sit on the skin at all which is great because that's a problem that I tend to have with more affordable moisturisers. So I definitely recommend this if you have dry skin or dehydrated skin or even just normal skin that can get a little bit dry at times but I would say if you do have sort of oily skin this may be a little bit too heavy but I do really like it and it's a great affordable one pick up. And then the next product, I wasn't really sure whether to put this in with my makeup drugstore recommendations or with the skincare because it's kind of a skincare product but it's labelled as a BB cream and what I'm talking about is the Soap and Glory Feel Good Factor and this is labelled as a translucent BB cream so it goes on, it's a cream coloured cream and it goes on completely translucent so it doesn't have any sort of tint at all but I really like this because it sort of acts as a moisturiser primer and an SPF in one. It has SPF 25, UVA and UVB protection so it's really great to protect your skin from the sun and it does really prime the skin so it really smooths it out and I feel like when I apply makeup on top of it it just sits a lot nicer and it does last a little bit longer as well and it does really hydrate the skin. So it's a great three-in-one product and I do really recommend it if you're looking for a sort of all-in-one base to just slap on to do the job of moisturising and SPF and priming at the same time. So they are all of my affordable skincare recommendations for now. As I said, do leave me a comment in the comment section with some of your favourite drugstore skincare recommendations and I will check them out. And do like this video if you liked it and subscribe to see more of my videos and all these products will be in the down bar so that you can check them out and possibly buy them if you're interested in adding them to your skincare routine. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!